Hey, good morning, my boy squad. Tried to sleep. Kind of half slept. We traveled all night. We're here at this place. Look. A place called Urbis Garden. Right now it's a resort. We're in a province in the Philippines called La Union. Oh, look at how gorgeous. La Union is a beach city known for surfing. But guys, we're up for something really cool. Look at this walkway. Look at these beautiful plants. I love living in the Philippines. Gorgeous tropical plants. Ficus, Benjamina, you know what I'm saying? Gorgeous property. <gasps> is that a beach? Oh, wow. I'm sitting right here on this awesome chair. Guys, look at beyond those plants there is a gorgeous beach. We're here at this beach because we're about to do some awesome thing for the environment. A mass cleanup. Uh -huh. We're gonna clean up this beach and I hear we've got some exciting things ahead, some new friends to make. I hear there's like a coral garden, something or other. Planting coral gardens, very important. I'm excited to find out what's up ahead with you guys. Guys, I don't know who this person is with a shaved head. RJ Garcia. <laughs> good morning, boy squad. By the way, if you're just joining us, good morning. My name is Mikey Bustos. Welcome to the channel. Mm -hmm. Be sure to hit the like button. Now, go! It's free. And hit the subscribe button. Join the Mabuhai squad. We'll be your daily dose of positive vibes. What we're doing here is very, very important. We're saving the world, right? So thank you uh, for coming and let's enjoy. Have a good time. Okay, guys, I'm here with the Task Us team. They have many locations all over the Philippines. Yeah. Eight. Wow. And you guys are the La Union team. Yeah. Yes. yes. The lighthouse. The yes. lighthouse. And they're the ones hosting this whole beach cleanup. Um, and they've set us all in teams. And everyone has gloves. You have your gloves. Yeah. Here. And they're and garbage bags. Yeah. Garbage. Yeah. Also, we have to put sunscreen because we'll be in the sun. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Luckily, now I got hair, so I don't gotta put it on my scalp. This is gonna be so funny. Guys, clean up. I've never done this. Have you guys done this? This is so good for the environment. Okay, I want to introduce you guys, my boy squad, to my team. What's your name? Patrick. Patrick. Hi. Shy. Joa. Joa. Alex. Alex. Bobby. Bobby. Johnny. Okay, let's do this. Jay, are you ready to clean the beach? Yeah. <laughs> so in case any of you guys are new to the Philippines, the Philippines is an archipelago. <laughs> 7,100 and something islands. We're an island nation, but living in Metro Manila, the beach is kind of far. It's like maybe an hour away. So this is a treat. Look at how gorgeous the beach is here. Beautiful, beautiful beach. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Traveler Trek. That's right. Traveler Trek, I do travel vlogs, guys. Okay, guys, so we need to look for garbage. This is a fairly clean beach, to be honest. We got seaweed. Apparently, we need to just like walk down this way to find the garbage. So, guys, according to what I hear, there's no swimming allowed in La Union after 6 p.m. because the waves are too crazy and people have died. Hence, this being a surfing town. But look at how gorgeous it is. Just, oh, it's just beauty everywhere. This is a fairly clean beach. That's a crab claw, no? What is that? I thought this like a dead seahorse. Oh yeah, crab, crab claw. Okay. I found garbage! Yes. I found more garbage. Okay, see like once you start, you're on a roll. What is that? Oh my god, is this a is that a maxi pad? What? <laughs> oh my god. 
Morning, Kuya. What's your name? I'm Pervinar. I'm from the IT team. Did you find garbage? Yes, I sure I have. The one oh. got snail. Oh, what? Oh my god, that's dangerous. Yes, why? What if someone's running on the beach? They could step on that rusty nail. All right. <gasps> so I have to take it out. Yeah, that's good. Like, if you really look, there are pieces of garbage around. Oh my. I don't know, like, maybe it's my Canadian upbringing. I'm not sure. I would just feel so guilty just tossing garbage in a beautiful place like this. You know what I'm saying? Just wouldn't feel right. Some of this garbage is like embedded, like into the coral bed here somehow. Like this will not come out unless you like really break it. Some of this is really dangerous. Look at this broken shark with this glass. See? And it's like embedded in there. If someone's running on this, you can really get hurt. So the lesson of the day, guys, is don't leave your bottles out here in the beach. OMG, guys, look. A crab hey. is its home. Let's let it go. Go crabby, be a crab. <laughs> So guys, another reason why you shouldn't leave your garbage anywhere, really, but a beach. A beach is probably one of the worst places to litter because obviously the ocean and the tides and the waves, they, they pull this garbage out into the sea and you'll be surprised how far it floats. Remember our Palau vlogs when we went to Palau, which is like an island out in Micronesia? It's like far, basically. Far, far, far. It's a two hour flight from Philippines. But when we visited one of those islands of Palau, we were surprised to learn that there was Philippine garbage there floating, washing ashore. Um, and they said this is totally regular for them. They, the, the ocean delivers them like random slippers. And we know it's from the Philippines because it's wrappers of like Philippine snack brand, you know what I mean? With Tagalog on it. So the ocean really transports, it like beams garbage to like distant lands. So it's, it's really a terrible thing to leave your garbage on a beach. Good morning. Morning kids. Hi. Shy. Guys, this Taho vendor is offering Taho. It's a Filipino dessert made of it's, uh, made of uh, Canadian soybeans Canadian soybeans Canadian soybeans that's why my taho is very yummy oh wow and that's why you speak like a Canadian yes. <laughs> what about you guys <laughs> so it seems the more inland you go the more garbage there is like there's just tons here see random random stuff bottles taho taho cups bottles galore this is like the aftermath of a party Yes, our collection's growing, guys. Guys, check out this amazing tide pool. All right, so check this out, see? This is awesome habitat. So every time the wave comes in, new fresh salt water comes into here and then it washes out. So see, it's coming in, it's coming in. It's like nature's natural toilet. You know what I'm saying? It's awesome, awesome habitat for many creatures because a lot of predators cannot get into here, but it's still very rich in life. Oh, and I see a bottle. I'm gonna go in here and get this bottle. Who throws a bottle in a beautiful beach like this? Seriously, I don't trust you if you throw bottles in a gorgeous beach like this oh it's embedded in there oh my gosh this is fossilized like civilizations and centuries from now are gonna pick this up and think it's like some complex machine ancient humans design vlogging me vlogging you vlogging me vlogging you <laughs> God, it's not even that hot outside this month. Guys, I'd like you to meet the big boss of Task Us. Good morning. Nice crack, Mikey. <laughs> Why, thank you. I've been working on that crack. Originally from US? New York and then Arizona. Awesome. But now a Filipino. Totally Filipino, guys. He's lived here for how many years? Roughly 14. 14 years! That's like double the time I've been here almost. So can you speak Tagalog? Iba. <laughs> Okay, he puts me to shame. He speaks Tagalog. I think it's a great thing what you guys are doing here at Tascas. Thank you, sir. Very you noble. Oh, it's a pleasure to see what you guys are doing. Holy, you guys collected a lot. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, guys, it is boiling. Seriously, I'm gonna be so dark after this. Mabuhai squad, let me show you what Kuya Ryan just showed me. 
You shaved your head too? What's going on here? Is this a trend nobody told me about? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, we're playing games now. <laughs> I love this kind of stuff. Even though I don't work for the company. Yeah, card game. Oh, oh no! I know this game. Awesome. Yes. Hi guys. You know you're so lucky to live here in La Union. Right. You have the beach, right? Surfing. All of that. Yeah. Guys, I want to walk on this beach. Let's do it. Let's walk on this beach together, my Buhai squad. Ooh, it's windy. Ooh. Look at this. Oh, wow. It's like a shelf. Ooh. See, it's like a. Oh, it's like a rock shelf. Wow. Love it. Woo. I don't want to be swept away by these unexpected large waves. You know what I'm saying? Guys, I feel so grateful to live in the Philippines. Seriously. There's just beauty everywhere. And I really hope we protect our beaches here in the Philippines. We really should. So guys, I'm on this Duyan <laughs> hammock. And I'm staring at this beautiful plumeria tree. Look at how gorgeous this tree is. I wish we could have plumeria in the Mabuhay Squad aviary. It's perfect for birds. There's lots of like horizontal branches. And it's, it's such a beautiful tree with beautiful leaves. Only problem is plumeria apparently is toxic to birds. <laughs> We can't. Man, such a pity. Okay, guys, we have a special presentation right now by a marine biologist. She's teaching us about coral. See that? Purple, pink, yellow, green, but also like brown, all colors you can imagine, blue. Okay, guys, now we're about to plant some coral. This is so awesome. Okay, task us, what are we doing now? So, we guys are going to the beach right now. We're going to plant some corals, and it's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's not very deep where we plant these coral. It's just kind of like right here. We're on some kind of shelf right now. Oh, wow. broken up by storms and stuff? Yeah, storms or like people sometimes are stepping on them but oh, they have like sometimes fish which is like wow. uh, going random. Sometimes okay. we also see corals which are sick. Oh yeah I mean we can yeah we can identify that and then when we when there is still a healthy part around it we can we are able like to, to collect them too. I see. So to hold them we must be wearing gloves correct? Yes. These are animals. Do you guys know that coral are animals? To get the equipment. They're a type of mollusk? They're a type of like jellyfish, belong to the phylum of Pinaria. Oh. Because they have stinging cells. Oh um, wow. But they're invertebrates. So you can see different kind of uh, uh, species of corals here inside. So this is Potilopora I showed you on the on the video presentation already. This is Heliopora. That's that's a blue coral. They were like shortly wow. endangered. On an endangered list, yeah. The skeleton is naturally blue. Oh, yes. Wow. They're, yeah. So they stay like that. So we can also try to plant those. It will be amazing. You see? Heliopora blue coral. Sometimes you can find them that on the beach. And then we have species of Acropora. These are like branching corals. They grow very, very fast. We always have to like separate them because as I told you, when you have to, these are like two different species, you see? So if they would like grow next to each other in the natural, they will start to fight. Oh. Fight, light and space, yes. And then this is also Heliopora. You can see it's all the blue corals. This is Poritis. So this is the coral what we still find here naturally around because they're like older, they're massive. They can like overcome the big waves. Oh my gosh, we're gonna try it. So what's gonna happen is they're going to get the pieces and then super glue them to like yeah. dead coral skeleton, which they naturally okay, embed the, on. Um, oh, geez, look okay, at this the is size a very big piece. Substrate. Huh? Okay, that's a huge piece. We can. I'll grab the piece now. I'll take this one. Huh? And then she'll add super glue. And then she'll add this catalyst, like here, which bonds the coral to the substrate. Let's oh. see, I want to put it here just a little bit. We apply a little bit of super glue. Grabs a piece. Put it on. Oh. Uh, see, you see, right? Just a little bit. We try to be conservative. And now you see with the catalyst. Put over the catalyst. This fluid is patented. You see? And. Wait. Interesting. And that's that. And then it's bonded there. 
so fast. Every so they put the same species yeah. on the same because area fight. because otherwise they would fight. So we're basically propagating a colony of the same coral here. Interesting. And look at the various types, guys. Amazing. That huge rock will house just like two little pieces. And it, it's enough to, like, to sustain a big colony of it. Wow! Hey, my boy, squad. Here we go. We're gonna do ours. Did you say coral is photosynthetic? Yeah. Is that zoosanthellae? It's the zoosanthellae, yeah. yeah. They're living in the tissue of, of the corals. I see. Like in jellyfish? Uh, jellyfish don't. Um, maybe some do have, but like anemones have a... Uh, zoosanthellae. Anemones have, and then there's some sponges. But they also have, eat also things, the, right? They also tree dacna, the giant uh -huh. sea clam. I see. But coral also eat, they consume things. Is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they consume plankton. Wow, they're such a unique group of animals. Absolutely. <gasps> okay, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Here? Okay, I put the super glue <laughs> there, <laughs> yeah, and then a little piece of coral right there. Awesome. And now the catalyst. Bathe in this catalyst. Oh my coral baby. It's wobbly. We, we just need to put on water. Propagate. Oh wow. Oh, that's, that's it. it. You see it's already it's already. Oh it's bonded. bonded. Guys, look. We just propagated a coral. The next? That's yeah. amazing. Maybe you can just How long will that take to like proliferate the entire rock? Uh, around like two weeks probably it can slowly slowly start to calcify itself on it okay and like to grow it that definitely takes like after months two months we can see already progress after six months it will be probably oh wow inevitable. six months uh, no not the next oh okay probably six months it can be like that oh very slow progress very slow. it'll double in size in six months but with these two little starts how long will it take to fill the whole rock oh, that takes years many many years okay Interesting. Thank you, Hi, Rainer. little guy Amazing. or guys. <laughs> awesome. Oh. Yay, that's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, that's okay. There. Now it awesome. Wow, okay. That is amazing. And that's it. This is Isabel. Isabel planted the other coral. I planted this side. What do we call our coral rock? My Kissabel. My Kissabel. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, so Isabel, let's let's go set these baby coral into its natural base. This is awesome. What an opportunity. Okay. Thank you. Bye, my Kissabel. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> oh no, my gloves are stuck. The calcifying catalyst. <laughs> And that's that. Wow, what an opportunity, right guys? Pretty awesome. First time to see that. Well, we did so much today, guys. We picked up garbage from a beach, we enjoyed the beach, and we planted some baby coral to create a future coral reef or coral-like colony. We did good, Mabuhai squad. High five. Yes. <sighs> Mabuhai squad. Not at my condo, as you can see. And I'll be getting into that in a bit but there is something that i need to address and tell you guys about that's very important and it's kind of a serious talk are you guys okay with that <laughs> all right so what i want to say is this <laughs> 